What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host of SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where we try to give you the info in the first minute. And then after that, we dig in a little bit deeper if you want to learn more. So uh, today we're going to learn about a workaround for the modern event web part. A workaround that helps you set smaller increments smaller than 30 minutes. Stick around. We'll get right to it. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, welcome back, and uh, again, this is Carolina Mike, your host of SharePoint in 60 Seconds. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, we're basically going to do this. We're going to pop into the original calendar, so every events web part has an original calendar old school list behind it. So if you want to set increments smaller than every half hour, all you have to do is dig in to the site contents, take a look and find that calendar, and go in there, find the event, edit the event, and make it whatever time you want it to be. And then when you go back to the event web part, refresh, ba-bam, you're good to go. See, that was easy. Now let's show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we've got events right here, okay? And I'm pretty sure that this site has its very own events uh, list. So we're gonna take a peek. There we go. It's by default, okay? And all it is, this is just an old school calendar. If you go into it, it's just super old school classic. It's not modern unless they ran an update. See, not even modern. Like, let's let's just get super. Like, you know, you still got tabs. That is not modern. We'll go to list settings. I wonder if we can even force it into modern. I doubt it. But if we were going to do that, we're going down the rabbit hole. By the way, so sorry if you're trying to get to it. But you had the first sixty seconds, so you know what's up. Uh, default experience. The default experience is modern. So, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it right now. But if I get enough uh, comments, I will mess with it to show you what will happen. If you don't want to try it in your production tenant, I will be your guinea pig. All right, so we're going to go back. And uh, this is old school. Okay? So let's just go back to the home. And all we're going to do is we're going to try and add like a crazy event that starts at like 8.15. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to add that event. And uh, da, 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 da. we'll do another video to get into all the cool stuff that we can do here. But look, let's look at the times. Have they updated the slots? Nope, just every half hour. So I'm going to say, I want to say 8.15, but all I could do is 8. Well, let's just do that. And we'll go ahead and save it. Now, when you save it, what's happening in the background is it's asking you for a title. Got to have that. Um, what is it we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing um, mixing. All right. Save. Now, we're going to go back to the home. We're going to look at our events. And we've got that event here for... Um, 8 p.m., but that's, I want it, it's 8.15, and I'm very particular about this. Well, all you got to do, site contents, we're going to pop into that events list, we're going to find our event, I don't even know what day I made it for, like, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to, oh, there it is, I made it for today, it's right there in my face. So we're going to go into it, and double click it, something, something will get us in there. Oh my gosh, what, what, what's the deal? It's making me look bad. Refresh. I know I should be able to open this thing up and edit it. I know that is a thing. There, that was weird. Like, it wasn't digging it the first go-around. 
Ah, whatever. We're going to edit the item. And we're going to make it whatever we want. We have five minute increments. Now I can go 805 to something freaky like that, you know. Who starts a meeting at 805? Um, this guy, apparently. So now we're going to go back to the, um, to the home. And we're going to go down and we're going to take a peek and see what time it starts. Oh, before I show you, what do you think? Thumbs up if you think it's going to be uh, correct or comment that you don't think it's going to work. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, ba bam Look at that. 8.05. So that is your workaround. In recap, or in review rather, when you're dealing with the modern events web part, there is a classic calendar in the background. While you cannot make small increments, anything smaller than half hour increments on this interface, you can, however, go into site contents, dig into the classic calendar, and make the update manually. I'm certain, well, I'm not certain, but I can only imagine that as time goes on, will eventually be able to set smaller increments, I would imagine. So with that, please like and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. Please share this with someone else if you think they could get some value out of it. Uh, did I say subscribe? Yes, please subscribe because if you don't subscribe, I'm never going to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So it's all depending on you. Thank you. Remember. SharePoint rocks, and so do you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. See you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.